Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vin Diesel, back on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's go to how we... And last one we ended up doing is we took on Arvin's challenge in the Path of Legends and we beat him. Learning that there's a little bit more to the actual story to go. Because once we gather some allies, such as a champion ranked trainer in Nimona, possibly, and Penny the Hacker who owes us a favor, we have to go down to Area Zero in the Great Crater, which is right, Great Crater, which is right next to us, and go return something to Professor Sada. We don't. Well, it's a book, but that's pretty much all we've got from it. However, before we do that, we must first get Nimona onto our side, and while well, as a friend, I think she'd be very much down to do that for us. I think she wants us to finish our quest of becoming a champion first. And so, because I purposely saved this for last, we are going to take on the league today. I don't think we're doing all of it today. I What I plan to do is do the Elite Four, and then if it goes really fast, then I will do the, um, the champion as well this video but like it really just depends like and what i mean by that is like if we are at the 30 minute mark and i've somehow blasted through the entirety of the elite four then i will choose to um do the champion as well but like if it's past 30 minutes and we have not done all four but like no matter what all four elite four members are being done today unless the first two take up the first 30 minutes if they don't then we're doing all four today if they do then fuck me but um Anyways, I casually just try to take down this one trainer for some little bit of EXP because we do kind of... I really hate the fact that he had to bring out a rain dance here. Because we do kind of want to, um, you know, bury ourselves at higher levels because we fought these last few challenges that were granted higher levels than the Elite Four will be, but we are still under level compared to Elite Four because I think the lowest level they have is 50, 6, 55. Not 55, 56, 58. So... Even our highest level is either tied or, in Fang, is either tied or still under level to them. So, I do want to, um, ah, that brightness hurt my eyes. And I, but I do want to, like, kind of speed this up and, uh, or make our drop easier and level up ever so slightly more. Now, obviously, I don't care, because I'll find a way anyways, like I've done this last time. And as before, using, your hair looks so amazing, like, it looks like actual legit lava. Oh, Cerulege! I, for every logical reason, I'm not going to keep Fang out because, uh, or Flame out, because the Rue Ledge is actually, if we take a closer look at it, oh, okay, nice sun moving very quickly in the background. But Cerule Ledge is the violet version of Armor Rouge. If you don't remember, I said before that Flare Cadet has two evolutions. Um, depending on which game you have, you'll get a different one. And this is the one from Violet. So, you both, you get them from the same place. Bitter Blade is its exclusive move. I don't know if Armor Rouge has an exclusive move. I've never... If Armor Rouge has an exclusive move, I've never seen it before. I assume it does, and it... She pro he probably gets it in, like... Okay, thank God Fang can somehow avoid that. Um, and she... He probably gets it in a few levels, considering this is level 56. I don't know when Armor Rouge gets it of those, the thing, but... Either way, we are taking out, um, Cerule Edge. We're getting some nice EXP on the squad. This still does not bring us to remotely even levels with the Elite Four outside of Fang, and even though I think Fang's still underleveled. But I think we're fine. I've already resorted to healing, which is why I was fine with terrestrializing uh, F flame, that flame there. So let's get the heal down. I did use up a handful of items against Arvin, so I don't really know per se if I'm ready for this in terms of resources. I do remember who the first Elite Four member is. I think I definitely need to buy Revives. Because, I mean, we all know how the Pokemon Leagues work. You don't get time to uh, go to a Pokemon Center and heal in between, meaning you have to kind of go with what you got. So I'm definitely going to stock up on some revives. If you have any match revives, I'll take those too. No, you do not. So with the money that Penny did not steal for us, though she did get off scot-free, let's get, I think, 33 is enough. Yeah, that's about a third of my money right there on one go, but it's worth it. I said a third as a joke, but I actually did get it right, more or less. Um, quick balls for catching things later if I really need to, though I'm, like, I pretty much caught every new Pokemon. There are a few, like, the Flamingo, and there was one I saw earlier, but I completely forgot about it, because it was in my Violet gameplay. Um, but point is that there's a good amount of Pokemon I haven't caught yet, but, eh, I'll, I'll, I can live with it. So, let's get the 14 Hyper Potions, because we don't necessarily need to always use Max and full Restores, though we do obviously want to bring those to the full extent. Uh... 16, I think, is about half the money we have. A little bit over that. And this is why I kept stockpiling all that cash, because I was going to use it on this. 
And okay, I think now we're good at items. I mean, I do have LP left over, but I think we're. Hey. Why does it say thir Oh. That's what it says the max amount is! So, okay, how much can I have? 30. Okay, this is how much. I can buy 14 with that. Um, cool then. I guess I will walk with that, and full well knowing that the. That's just what I'm gonna have to run with. Cool. There's Gita of the Pokemon League. I'm gonna start out with M, because I know M is gonna be decently useful. I have done literally no grinding off camera since the last episode, because I'm starting this right after it, because that's me. So let's go ahead and get this started, shall we? Oh, hello, Ezel. So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become champion. Right? Is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck on the bottom of my heart, Ezel. I look forward to the meeting you again soon. Implying that we get there. I thought she was gonna do the hair flip, honestly. Every girl I know does like the hair flip only they sarcastically walk away and I love it. Anyways, talking to you. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Yes, I am. Okay, as of from our academy, it is. Here's what I've told a gym badge very well, and we now proceed to the interview room. So, as I remember, there has to be an interview. Uh, so, we have to answer these questions right. There is a specific way we're supposed to answer these, and I really hope I get it right. Some of these are opinion based, so it doesn't really matter how you answer them. Or, kind of opinion based. Thank you for coming today, right? Please do have a seat. Okay. Just gonna take the seat. I meant to change my outfit before this, but whatever. I, Rika, will be the interviewer. Let's get started from the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. Is it raining outside? First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Okay, is it actually raining? Oh shit, it actually is. Okay, I mind that. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions. If you wouldn't mind, Dezel, please think carefully as you may automatically fail the interview depending on the answers. That is true, you can still fail this interview. Because even though we tried it earlier, they do look for specific answers. How do you get you here today? If you say anything else but walk, they will immediately kick you away. So I walked. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you were enrolled in. Uh, I don't know what the fuck Manaza is, but Uva is the violet version, so if you're playing violet, you say this. Naranja is the scarlet version, so you say this if you're playing scarlet. Naranja Academy. Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Okay. You can't say this one, you can't say this one. It has to be I become a champion. I just came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now what do you intend to do if you become a champion? And... Apparently it's I want to find treasure. I don't know if you're allowed to say the other ones or not, but according to the website, it's I want to find treasure. I wish it was the I Battle Demona thing. I see. Interesting. Tommy, which of the eight gyms have the most give you the most difficulty? Now this is opinion based. You can choose whatever you want. In my opinion, from my memory, it was <laughs> I personally want to pick Cortando for a specific reason, but I don't want to. Levincia, I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? I said Lavincia, right? So, I don't know. You have to match the gym. Again, like, technically it doesn't matter how you answer this, but you do have to, once you stick with the idea, you have to met, you meet each of answers. I'm glad you seem to remember. So if you say Lavincia, you have to say Iona. If you say Artisan, you have to say uh, Brawless, whatever. But do you remember which type Pokemon Iono used? Yes, again, you still have to match it to the actual typing, which is electric in this case. I really hope I'm getting these right. I don't know if I am or not. Wonderful! Wunderbar! Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Ezel. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Now, again, technically, this can be an like this changed depending on what your actual starter was, but because mine was the Grass Cat Sprigatito, I have to answer Grass Cat. If you pick Fukoko, you pick the Fire Croc. If you pick Quaxley, you pick the Water One. Very good, very good. One more question, if I remember correctly. Now, please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Mommy, what do you intend to do if you want to become champion? Now, again, you have to answer the exact same time again. If you answer differently, you will get this wrong, and you have to restart all over again. I want to find treasure. I think I've answered everything properly, right? Ah, yes, that's right. Next is the final question of this interview. Okay, so there's one more then. What is it? Do you like Pokemon Ezel? Yes. <laughs> that, that's, that's the easiest question I could answer. Yes. Good job, kiddo! 
that was about wraps up the interview. Right. And let me be the first to congratulate you, Ezel. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. Yes, that is the easiest part. On your first try, too, no, it's technically second try. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. Really? Fair enough. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. Yeah, the Elite Four, basically. And you'll be facing the Elite Four of the Pokemon Battles. Right. And I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready to go, then go into the room behind me. No! Let's just say this. If you remember, every single, like, type has had an opponent. So, you would think that they don't have any unique types. They do. And their typings on further thought process, like, I just figured this out now, as I was reading that dialogue is actually in a specific order for a reason. Or not a specific order, but they have specific types for a reason. So that the Elite Four uses. All I'm gonna say is, when we see uh, the first person's type, I'll explain the bit, but um, yeah. Just gonna kind of run through this. I, I forgot you're part of the Elite Four. Where's your name again? Riley, right? Or Rika, never know. Yeah, now, then let's get this started, huh? Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I'd say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. So I really hope I really thought she was gonna like flick her earring a little bit, but um, okay, that was a nice intro battle music. Um, Rika though. So wind cash, ground and water starts off with dual type. Could be either or. I finally want to get to battle you. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this, so don't give up too soon. So you know, it could technically be either one that Rika actually uses as her main squad team. But, um, let me go ahead and tell you, her theme is ground type. Now think about this, think about this for a second. Ground type, Elite Four. There are four Elite Four members, right? What is the only, like, I guess what I say, what are the only, um, types that didn't get an actual trainer to represent them, but instead got a Pokemon to represent them. If you can't tell what I'm getting at, all the Elite Four members' types are based off of Titan Pokemon. So Rika is meant to represent the ground one, aka either uh, Great Tusk or Iron Treads, depending on your game version. Nice spin, Rika. Um, one of the other ones meant to represent the steel one, or Orthworm. Then one of them is meant to represent the false dragon titan. I kind of hinted at it earlier who it is, so if you remember who I'm talking about, good for you. I should have definitely hit you with assault here. Ooh, Gilgamesh. That's why I want to throw out um, Fang first, because I knew about the future sign. I completely forgot about it. Uh, anyway, so Gilgamesh had to go down there. Who can take you out? Stopping champs is actually super effective. But so is Flower Trick. So if Fang cannot die, then Fang can kill with Flower Trick. Because it's neutral as the thing. It is unaffected by fire, but it is still super effective on the ground type of it. So Flower Trick might be a one-shot. Which it is, so good job, Flower Trick. But anyways, those are the dragon one. And then that leaves two. So obviously there can't be both. Which is why... Oh, she has a Dompan. Of course she does. Actually, I need to go check the rest of their teams now after this to see if they use the Pokemon that represents their typing. Because, like, Dompan obviously is meant to represent, like, the present form of Great Tusk. I say present form for a reason without choosing to give any context for it. Again, for a reason. But, anyways, um... You know, the last one actually takes... Ooh, hey, that did... No! really hoping it wouldn't poison! I, I was shutting up about it because I knew it would happen. Yeah! Fang avoided! Thank you, Fang. Okay, I really did not know that you... Okay. I did not think that would do that much damage. Okay. On the bright side, Fang can sweep now because he has Overgrow active, so his grass moves are a lot fucking stronger. He has the Miracle Seat, and if I were to Terror type him, I think Fang would one-shot pretty much anything in his path. And I'm kind of tempted to test that theory. Okay. If I remember Rika's final Pokemon. I think it might be best not to Terror type Fang, but I mean, if I'm right, and none of her things have priority moves, 
then Fang is essentially a guaranteed one shot on anything. So, with Overgrow, Miracle Seed, Stab, Super Effective, Guaranteed Critical Hit, and Terrorize Active, let us hit her with our strongest ever flower trick that I will ever produce out of my ass. My god. That's a guaranteed one shot, and I'd be damned if it wasn't. Nice shot, Fang. Um, but anyways, I really hope that I get... I'm not realizing that there's a chance I might not get healed after all these, meaning I might have just actively thrown out my only Terrastalize in one go. Nah, <laughs> impressive! You really are something else, kiddo! Okay, that's a very creepy close-up, but she throws out a Cloud Sire, Pokemon that we have... I don't think ever encountered this game because I tried to get a Paldean Whooper and I never caught it. Let's get this finished! Go on, Cloud Sire! Shake things up a bit! Let me get a Terrastalize. Yes, she is. So anyways, though, like... The last, uh, person uses flying types. That's what Bombardier represents. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Some of these members, we, like, we've met all the Elite Four members. We have met all the Elite Four members. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, anyways, ground, terror type. That is an interesting form of it for those that just take the Earth. This should be a one-shot, because you're no longer half poison because Terrorize takes over everything. So that should kill. Yeah, easy. So... Fang somehow surviving that critical hit poison jab, and then also expelling the poison is the sole reason we just swept through her entire squad. Nice one, Fang. Overgrow coming in real useful. Grassy terrain. Basically what it does is it changes the terrain to a grassy area where any Pokemon on the ground gets uh, HP increased by a little bit every turn for five turns, but I'm not going to teach that to Fang because I don't use moves like that. At least not on purpose. Nice job, Rika. Not bad, kiddo. There are Pokemon, actually, that I would use that ability for, except the thing is they have an ability that actually, when they take damage, they activate a certain field effect. Like, a team member in my Violet squad does that for Grass Terrain, so I don't bother teaching it that. Talk about unfair. No way I was ever going to guess that one, win that one. Still, though, what a great battle. Felt good even to lose. Not a whole lot of trainers have the skill to make it past the V4, but who knows? I'm beginning to think you might be one of the few that do that, as well. First down on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. They're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Coming. Yep, the small child from before. I think her name was Poppy, right? I didn't see her name when it popped up. Yeah, it is Poppy. Oh, wow. Did you lose Rika? Yeah, I did. He's no pushover, let me tell you. Right? I'll be watching from the sidelines. Avenge me if you can, eh? You bet I will. So we don't have to take her on immediately. I know we didn't get healed. Right? Yeah, okay. So we pretty much dropped our Terra right out the gate. And I know we don't get the chance to get it back, which means I, in hindsight, used my only Terra in a thing where I probably could have one shot without using it, so I'm an idiot. But I know which type she specializes in. I don't know where her first Pokemon's gonna be. Oh, I only lost one Pokemon at the time. I thought Fang went down. Uh, anyways, um, since I know what type she specializes in, I'll start off with... Fuck it, I'll start off with M again, because M could actually be our saving grace here, and okay, you know, I'm just gonna do this, because I meant to do it last time. Uh, we'll start off with M again, just because, hopefully we don't lose any team members, uh, I'm not ready to face Poppy yet, I do want to say, just in case my camera glitches so I can restart the match, well, unless it goes horribly wrong, then I won't restart the match, but, knowing what type you are, as we, I, don't, I didn't actually pay much attention to, um, you know, Rika's levels, so I didn't really get to bring it to perspective, but we are under-leveled if you couldn't tell. I think Fang's the only one actually on par with them now, and that's by barely, if Fang is on par with them at all. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say, bye-bye, mister! All my Pokemon are super tough! Your weak attacks won't work on them at all! They'll bounce right off! You'll see! I can't wait for you to meet my friends, so here they come! Yep, Poppy's gonna give us a nice face full of battle. Now, take a guess of a Terra type, or not Terra type, of her Pokemon she used from the Titans. It is Steel, because if I remember correctly, this elephant is pure Steel. Now, that is the reason why I threw out the elephant for, or not fell out first. Go on, Raja, smush him! Oh, no, that's a cute shot. Anyways, that is the reason why I threw out M first, being able to hit with a stab move that does super effective damage is almost a guaranteed one shot. So, we take out the Steel Titan pretty easily. Now, we're leading with the advantage. We got... One more Pokemon to go before we can, uh, well, not one more Pokemon to go, but we took down one very quickly. Corviknight is next up, Steel and Flying type. That's where Flame comes in. I did want to say, I didn't know what she had at first, but I had a feeling it was best to send out M, because 
I felt like she would have something like a Corviknight or like something that would resist M, so I was like, it probably won't be up first. I'll throw out M first, and then she'll throw it out in response, and then in response to that, I can throw out Flame. And I was right that that plan would work. Pressure, so my moves are gonna take up more. Oh, I get to terrestrialize each time afterwards. Cool, so I can feel free to go all out against these guys. I have to heal myself, but my terrestrialize gets refreshed. In that case, then, proceeds to crack Knuckles and Neck at the same time. It's time to kick some ass. Flamethrower. Corviknight is down just like that, singed to a crisp. We get some levels, and hopefully this time our squad can stay up the whole time so we can get as much levels as possible. Bronzong is next. We fought one earlier. Steel and Psychic type. Uh, I don't want to throw out M for obvious reasons, and I don't want to throw out... Um, actually, I should have thrown out Gilgamesh, because Gilgamesh could do a lot of damage, because... As we know, uh, Salt Cure does a lot more damage against Steel and Water types, but eh, Flame seems to have this handled with his charcoal and his superior firepower. Aha, get the pun. It is kind of sad that that thing survived and took out half of Flame's health, but Flame seems to be casually rocking his way through all these Pokemon, so I don't really mind too much. With that, Bronzong is down. We're getting some more XP out of this. Uh, no one leveled up. Magnezone is next up. Steel and Electric type. I know this thing doesn't have a ground type move for shit, and I know I probably can't hit it with a ground type move because it probably has, um, like, levitate. So, let's hit you with another flamethrower. Oh, you only have five Pokemon. I thought you had six. Did Rika have six, or did she have five? Because I swear Rika had six. And I'm seeing five right now in the small girl shop. I mean, that also lets me, like, talk about something that I haven't talked about in a while. I'm like, that's the fact that any, like, if you look at close attention, anyone of any age has been, like, a student at the school. Like, there are old men, there are middle-aged men, middle-aged women, um, you know, 20-ish year old women, like, etc. Like, point is, and, like, small child like her. I'm not scared, my last Pokemon will turn things around. Like, point is, there are a lot of varying ages in the school area, so... I guess it wouldn't be entirely weird to see a younger person in the league, like Rika, I guess, if Rika was our age, I don't know how old Rika actually is, except, um, it's time to get dressed up all pretty, Tiki! Oh, you are faster than me, that's not good. But, um, the thing to note is that Poppy is, I think, younger than most of the students, like, not just our age, but like, even the kids' students. Which means Poppy is a prodigy. Because she has all these high-level, powerful Pokemon. And we're running into her with, like, our team that isn't really that prepared for it. My like, point is, she's really smart for her age. And she would also probably become one of the best champion ever for the game. If she, once she grows a little bit older. Also, Tinka Tuff. I've talked about this before, but Tinka Tuff and, yeah, there's a stone edge. Tinka Tuff. Oh, Flames of survives that! Thank you, Flame! Hit him hard with a flamethrower! All you got, buddy! Thanks, pure steel type now! Oh, come on! You gotta resist that somehow. Wow! We both terrestrialize, hit him with everything we have, and, like, with our strongest moves, and it somehow it both does a lot less damage than I was expecting, but... Sorry about that, Flame. But anyways, um, you know, Tinka Tuff and Corviknight, they actually hate each other, because of, I don't know how I'm gonna fucking walk out of this one now that I've lost like my strongest out to you. Uh, if Gilgamesh, if Gilgamesh is fast, if Gilgamesh can land one hit, I can salt care and do a shit ton of damage. But yeah, quick claw, baby! Let's go. The gamble was worth it. Thank you, Gilgamesh. Even if you don't kill, this will inevitably lead to the death of this Pokemon. Let us go. Steel Heart Pokemon always get a solid victory, so I'm a win. Oh, I tell me, tell me, tell, I'll tell you what, oh, Gigaton Hammer. Anyways, as I was saying, um, you know, Corviknight and Tinkaton are harsh enemies, because Tinkaton normally knock, uh, sorry about that, Gilgamesh, but Tinkaton normally knock, uh, Corviknight out of the air. Except, and it's funny that, that she has, um, you know, both them on their, on her team. But anyways, Gigaton Hammer is one of the strongest moves in the game. Or, or at least it's Tinkaton's strongest move. It does a shit ton of damage, but if I remember correctly, it has a recharge on it. Meaning, this is my out to you. With the Salt Cure in mind and F and Gilgamesh sadly being taken down for the sake of the team. Hit him with everything we've got! Stopping! Tatrum! Shit, it doesn't recharge. 
Oh no, the move can't be used again, but the Pokemon doesn't recharge, right? And the move can only well it can't it can be used more than one time a fight, but when you use it, it works like kind of like torment rules where you can't use it right afterwards. You have to use another move in between that time span. So like she can use it again after she used the stone edge, but it would have to be not right after. But there we go, we beat Poppy. Sadly Gilgamesh and Flame had to go down, but we did our job well. Flame hard carried that though. Uh, uh! That's the sad thing though, the only team member that hasn't card carried yet is Volt. Or, well, not Volt, Watts. Because, you know, Watts hasn't been able to do anything. What? What? I want to take revenge on you, Rika! Pretty sure you mean take revenge for me, Squirt. Didn't think I. Don't think I did you anything wrong by you. Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right! I haven't had to do this in a long time! Oh, yeah, so Poppy typically just kind of takes out people if Rika doesn't somehow take them down. It's your turn, Mr. Larry! Yep. Remember Larry, the gym leader. He did say he works for the Pokemon League. He does mean as a normal office worker, but he does also mean as an Elite Four member. Hello, you. Nice. Is that a different time? Hello there. It's me, Larry. Surprised he doesn't do like more introducing dialogue. Or remember me from that gym battle? Yeah, no, it's interesting though that uh that they choose to bring back Larry for the gym. Like I feel like there could have been other characters, but Larry just feels like that. But Larry does actually fit it, I guess. I can see Larry being the one that they the one they choose to bring back. But knowing what typing he uses, I'm gonna set Watts up first. That gives it one of four options that it could be anything that Watts is super effective against. Uh, but specifically it being Watts. Outside of me just talking about Watts hasn't been able to carry in a while. Ready to face Larry the Elite Four? Hell yeah! So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon, since I feel they have a lot in common with me. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with Lock Primera. Yeah, so he does use, like I said, he focuses on Titans. And if you remember who I said the Dragon type one sounded like, then you know which one this is. Anyway, time to get to work. Which actually allows me to talk about Larry. I want him to throw out the Pokemon first before I start talking about it. Titans, the tie. I do like his gloves. They all, their gloves look really cool. Tropius is not grass type he uses. He uses flying types. Well, I'll be trying with my hand with flying type Pokemon this time. Which is something I like to talk about because if you don't remember, his actual ace in his gym is actually um, a flying type in the form of Staraptor that he terrestrialized to a normal type. Which is interesting because it's already half normal type. Larry is the only gym leader who drastalizes a Pokemon that is already of the same type that he gym that his gym focuses on, which again is normal type. But Seraptor is flying and normal type. It's like a nice balance saying like, cool, he practices with both. This was a horrible idea for you for many reasons. I'm gonna say that right now, um, Larry. But anyways, like, you know, um, Larry never get oh, sorry, like Larry constantly is focusing with both types or practicing with both types because he practices the normal type at his gym. But they practice the flying type at his league, and whenever he's not like at the league, because he's still practicing with his flying type because of Staraptor. And speaking of Staraptor, whenever he's at the league and not his gym, he's still practicing his normal type with Staraptor. So quite literally, let's get a revenge match going because last time these two fought, Watts sadly ended up the loser. This time, however, I think Watts has a few more tricks in store for his Staraptor, if I were to say so myself. I don't know if these are going to be the same gender Staraptor, but it'd be very cool if like, this is just the same Staraptor, just a higher leveled uh, one, so which would be great. Intimidate got us last time, but this time we have a stronger move for you in store. Go! Discharge! And we are faster still, like last time, and we hit him with everything we've got. Last time we both fought with a Terrastalize in mind, but this time I think we're both on the equivalent side of not Terrastalizing, and whoop de doo Watts got her revenge, now we are tied 1-1 in that regard for whose birds won the battle of the day. Let's get our levels on us, Watts level 54, Altaria, Dragon in Flying type, I kind of want to send out Esparta, but instead I will send out Gilgamesh to do a little bit of damage. Sad thing hasn't been able to do much for like the last two, but because like you can't obviously throw out a f grass type into a flying type. But I mean, eh, we got what we got. Altaria shouldn't be too bad. I really hope I didn't just jinx myself. How many Pokemon does Larry have? Five as well. Okay, so did Rika have five and I wasn't paying attention because I swear Rika had four. And our Quick Claw, once again, comes in handy. That Quick Claw has been doing work for Gilgamesh, honestly. Uh, take him out with some Salt Cures. It's not going to do too much damage, but the extra damage it puts on means we might be able to take down this Altaria in the next move. Dragon Pulse. And the so Sunlight faded. Okay, so Flame Strength kind of goes away. Do a good amount of damage on you. Who have we not terrestrialized in a while? Hmm. 
You know what? I have an idea. Terastalize. Hit him with a soul cure! It might be a bad idea to, to terastalize now, but like, to be fair, terastalizing Walt would turn Walt into a steel type, and I think steel might resist flying, so maybe it would have been worth keeping Walt on terastalize after all, but I mean, eh. I never really get to terastalize Gilgamesh, so might as well. There goes the Dragon Pulse. Hope it doesn't do too much. Okay, Gilgamesh takes a good amount of damage, but Salt Cure Terror type should kill, and even if it doesn't kill outright, it will kill with the uh, Salt Cure from earlier, and yeah, it does kill outright, so. Easy peasy win for me. I don't struggle at all. Take down the Altaria. Hopefully get some levels up so I don't have to worry about health. There we go. And you got a new move, which was Stone Edge, actually. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping Salt Cure. Heavy Slam has been a 50-50 move so far, so I won't really keep Heavy Slam. So we'll get the Stone Edge instead. Send out Oricorio. So that's that weird dancer Pokemon, right? Yep, it is, and it's this one. Okay, I don't know what type you are. I'm gonna hit you with a stone edge and pray for the best. Revolution Dance. That's a move I've never heard of before. Oh! Oh, okay. So fuck me then. Um. Okay then! Plan B! Asparta, go! <laughs> I did not see that coming. Actually, what level are you? Because now I'm curious. What level are you? 59. Okay, so we're actually catching up on levels with these guys. Like, Asparta's level 49, 747. Uh, please don't flinch. God damn it. Uh, I know Fang is either level 48 or, like, close to it. Oh, no! Not like this! Come on, Asparta, break through the confusion and hit him hard with a stab. Ice Beam, that is probably a one-shot, all things good, even if you're not really much of a special attacker. Come on, hit through the confusion, hit through the confusion, hit through the confusion. Yeah! There we go, Asparta! Damn it, not a one-shot. Almost had it, though. Okay, try it again. Air Slash, don't flinch, don't get confused. Come on. Hit through the confusion, hit through the confusion, hit through the confusion. There we go! Esparta takes the kill! Okay, we should definitely change out Esparta because we know the next thing he's gonna throw is gonna be Terrastalized into a flying type. And that might mean Watts have to take over. Please be slow. Flamingo, you son of a bitch. Okay. Ah, uh, I want to keep Esparta out so badly, but I kind of can't afford to. Okay, you know, we're gonna keep Esparta out. You're even stronger than before. Guess I don't get a break today. Yep, here comes Flamingo. One of the only Pokemon I haven't caught. Is be I did see it in Violet, but I chose not to catch it for a reason. You son of a bitch. Galave Rush. At the risk of messing up my suit a bit, it's time to get oh, some wind on our backs. This thing is a joke in of itself. It literally is just a Flamingo. I hear people complain about it because, like, this is... Because, again, we already had the Dunce Sparse thing, and then we had... Like, I forgot what the other issue was that people have with evolution in this game, but like, then we had Flamingo, who was literally just a Flamingo, and some people say that, oh, it's been Pokemon that were just the Pokemon were literally part of the game from the beginning, like Seal, for example, which is a fair argument, and sorry about Esparta, except the also issue is there, the difference is, that was back when the game first came out, where they couldn't have been super, where, I'm not saying they weren't super creative, but like, they're, like, they have the excuse to not be super creative. Here... It's been like, what, almost a few decades now since then, and they are still doing this. Uh, yeah, I think you're a special defense lower too, right? Yeah, thank God Watts is faster. Discharge. Hey, Watts gets the kill. Let's go. Watts got her revenge and one shot the Terra. So easy peasy, Flamingo goes down, and we get some EXP. Sadly, no one leveled up. If a spider was alive, she would have gone and level off that. But hey, you know, we're getting closer to matching the levels of the Elite Four. Oh, that took the wind from under our wings. Wasn't too hard, actually. I like we were getting all the money back that we spent earlier on items, so when I have to do this again for later, I can buy them back. You're a lot stronger than I recall. No wonder La Primera likes you. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. Yep. It's your turn, Hassel. Yeah, I remember our teacher, Mr. Hassel, the guy I said would be the dragon user. Yeah, that's him. Now, where could he be? Uh, I don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel! Larry, you may need to speak up a little bit more. Hassel? <sighs> Hassel! You're up next! Now, oh, there we go. Nice type. This is the dragon type thing, because again, he is a dragon type user. Hello there, Ezel. It delights me to see you here. Of course, our teacher's the final one. You feel like you would have more actual story based interaction, not just the one with that. We have to actively initiate ourselves by going to the school and learning from them. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? 
how many people actually make it to him? Because Poppy says she hasn't uh, like called someone in a while, which means that either no one has made it to Elite Four that far, or no one has beat her that far, or Rika that far. So you know, the point is like we they no barely anyone makes it to the Elite Four like the fourth level. And you know, I never really pay much attention to the dialogue, so maybe all of them always say that. But I swear, you never get to hear enough dialogue about the Elite Four ever saying, "Oh, it's rare that I ever get to come out." Okay, I know he's a dragon type user. I don't remember what he throws out first. Most dragon types are at least half weak to whatever Gilgamesh can throw out. And I do want to save Esparta for like the end run towards that part. So, Gilgamesh, you're up. Let's do this. Ready to face half the lead leaf four. I actually know, because I forgot to do this before, before I fought Larry. But if we go talk to you three, I like the family, you know, like. Poppy's the youngest, Rika's the older sister, Larry's the father, and then Hassel's the grandpa. Hassel's the Elite Four's last line of defense. I can't wait to see how it turns out when you take him on. Uh, I did not mean to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to Poppy. Okay, Poppy, child. There we go. It's super amazing you, can de you feed defeated Mr. Larry. It's super amazing I defeated you. I get the feeling I'm from another. I'm, I'm in for another one of Hassel's endless lectures. Ah, uh, well, too bad. What, for making Rika scream or for something else? It was odd to fight Hassel. I was, of course, Ben. absolutely certain you would make it uh, to me eventually. I thought about abandoned by my family. I was really like, what? Anyways, young sprouts truly do grow with astounding speed, yes. But I never for a moment imagined we would be facing each other soon. Now, teachers' duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as a teacher for a moment. And wield all my might for the sole purpose of defeating you. Nice eyes, honestly. I am Hassel, the dragon guarding the final fortress of the elite test. Prepare to learn firsthand how the fiery breath of ferocious battle feels! Here we go, Mr. Oh, his eyes line up slightly. Tightens the vest. Here it comes, Hassel of the Elite Four. Noivert! Okay, so I was right that you would send out someone with a flying half type. I just had to take a guess that it would be a flying type. Honestly, though, I thought that would be a Salamence, not this. Show me everything you've got! I shall face you with my full strength! Okay, got you, buddy. So hit him with a salt cure. Stone Edge might be a one shot, but oh god. Yet that's like less than half, barely less than half my health. But I mean, salt cure will do enough recoil damage for later edges. Now I could have gone Stone Edge and banked it on one shot, but I don't think Stone Edge would one shot, and I didn't want to risk Stone Edge missing. Now I am gonna throw Stone Edge out this time because I do think it'll hit. But I did want to set up the salt cure first, just in case Gilgamesh died to this. But thankfully Gilgamesh didn't. Now Stone Edge. There we go, it was a one-shot, so good. We took down the Neuver. We should get levels on everyone that isn't Gilgamesh, or not, maybe not everyone that isn't Gilgamesh, but we should get levels on no one, apparently. Okay, Dragledge, what was Dragledge? I have never heard of that Pokemon. What is this? Oh, it's you! Oh! Hi, you! Okay, I really needed the quick lot of work there. Sorry, Gilgamesh. Ah, yes, the Kalos Dragon. Okay. You are... I think I fought you before, right? Oh, I didn't, so I don't have any details on you. But I know Fang can probably take you out. So, go get him, Fang! If I am right, you are half water type. So, whatever grass moves I throw, you should be neutral. And, okay, we're getting close to evening you out. Go! Flower Trick! At least a critical hit. It should bring it down to at least half. Oh, you're half poison. Not half water, and I sent Fang out to die. Well, I fucked up. Uh, ha -ha. Oh, why did I just do this? I'm now seeing the outrage on M. It's a good thing I gave M outrage. I completely forgot about that. Um, and if you don't mind, outrage. And M's faster. Yeah, I really did just send Fang out to die. I, I'm an idiot. I should, I should have thought about this. Oh God, damn it! You have poison point of all things. Of course you do. Okay, well, we took out the drag ledge. Granted, we had to lose out on um, Fang, too. And honestly, we might lose out on M either due to the poisoning or due to his next Pokemon killing M because I can't switch out. Oh, I can. Flabapple, that's a grass and dragon type. We'll stick with the outrage spam and see where it gets us. That's not the tanky one. That's the fast one. Okay, good. As long as you don't have a fight. And M still outspeeds it. And one-shots it, too. Damn, M with a crit. Good one, girl. Okay, are we gonna get confused? There we go. Okay, so we're switching out M next time. Got it. So, uh, to the to the fatigue. Okay, do we do get experience on uh, you, the hurricane? What's the accuracy between a hurricane and this? 90, uh, 70, but that might... Okay, yeah, no, I'm not taking that chance. Okay. Poison's coming in to do us a little bit of damage. What's next? We've taken down three Pokemon so far. Haxorus. 
You know what? My favorite dragon type versus our own dragon type. I also like how the three other elite formats were in the background. Go, Esparta! If you remember correctly before, actually, Esparta, when she was a Arctabax, actually took on a Hack Source in one Ice Fang spam. So here we go, hitting this with everything I have! Go, Galave! Right. Oh no! Oh, we should for time. Go, Galave! Rush! There we go, okay. We took a lot of damage and we had to get a crit. Okay, here's the thing. The next hit, I'm pretty sure it will change once we switch her out. But if it doesn't, then the next hit Esparta takes will do double the damage and it won't miss. Final Gambit. The user risks everything to the attack. The user faints but inflicts damage equal to its own HP. As much as I want to teach this, it's not worth it, so... Got Baxcalibur. That's the last one he has. Now, I wanted to, like, Terror type into Ice type for a Baxcalibur showdown. I should have done that in hindsight against the Haxorus. But now I don't know. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna try to lower this thing's health as far as we can. Come back, Esparta! Oh, I don't realize this thing might have Thermal Extension. It might not be a good idea to throw out Flame against it. Flame, okay, here's the plan. Flame, you're, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take this thing head on. Only a little move until you pass. A little more until you pass. Don't let up! Okay. Because of the situation at hand, what I'm going to do is this. Where is the max potion? Okay. Just in case. Just in case. Because I do want to tear type our Bax Caliber because we haven't had to do that yet. Come, oh great dragon! Take a dare to as your crown! Yep, here it comes. Now, it'll be really creep. It'd be really uh, annoying if he terror typed into ice, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna terror type into dragon type. I hope he does, because we've also never seen the dragon terror type before, but yep, he terror types into dragon. We now have to deal with the dragon king himself, Hassel. No point in letting this drag on. Behold, the power to overwhelm everything. Of course, you would make that joke. The only thing that surprised me, though, is he didn't have. Um, because Noivern was like the dragon type for, oh, okay, well, preferably you would have hit me with, well, it's not the next move, though. Ha. Huh. The chances of this working in my favor are slim. However, with the Terra Ice, we have accomplished. This one is for Fang, who I sent out to die. This one is for Flame, who didn't get a chance to hit. This one right here is for our good friend that I kicked off the squad for us, Barta Faye. We will avenge her and win this. Go terrestrialize into ice. This is for the true power of the dragons. From one dragon killer, we got another. Terrestrialize and take on a Galley Rush if it goes for it, please. I beg of you, God. It's, oh, yeah, here it goes. Come on, survive this. Survive this. Survive this. Yes! Now it's Sparta! Ice Beam! Full power! Go! Yes! Dragon Killer returns, baby! That one was for Faye! Let's go! Let's go! The Queen of Dragons has taken her place on the throne. My god. The mighty dragon has been felled by an even mightier dragon. At the end of the day, it's all about power. It's about power of anime protagonists. Anyways. <laughs> you, you really did it. Oh, wow. Huh. W wonderful. You mean wonderful. I, I, I'm just so proud of you. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. There, there. Want a hug? See, I was right about the family dynamic of it. My god, I do like how they're family a little bit. Sorry about all this, Azul. The old man can get like that sometimes, yeah, I know. So what what I do? I, I'm just I'm so underwhelmed. I do expect that he would have, like, you know, used a dragon of each region, though, like, not a bunch of Calistrax. So I did expect to possibly fight a Gudra or a Garchomp, at least. Because I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your results for the Elite Test of the Champion Assessment is... A pass! No doubt about it! Yep. Yeah, you're tougher than steel! Yep. You you did it so beautifully. Congratulations. I'd say you're good to go, but there's actually just a way bit more to the champion assessment. This will be your final trial. See that door back there? Yeah. 
Our fearless commander is the final opponent you'll face for your test. Is waiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she's able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. So she didn't even have to beat the Elite Four, she forced you to join the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I think you'll do fine, kiddo. You beat me after all. I'll patch up your team on the house, so don't lose it. you here. Thank you. It's a good thing they also let us use our Terra type each time, because that was what made it easier. I think we still could have won, but it would have made it a lot harder. I really love your Pokemon, mister! So I'll chip you as hard as I can! Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire! Whoa, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You can do this. We all know you can. Right. Now go on, young Ezel. Your hands must be f small, but your hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Thank you, I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, that happened. Ahem, good luck, right? All right, Ezel, show us the fight of the century. Good luck on your final test, right? Your final opponent is terribly strong, but then so are you. Banish your fear with a calm mind. You will surely see a triumph of the path. Okay, now, in the next one. I know there's like, but it's a good thing we got to tear that though, because I made it a lot easier. We still probably could have won. But in the next one, with our squad fully healed and us at at least a closer level to the champion, not definitely on par, but we're still closer to it, we will take on her the next time. Champion Gita. So I'll see you all then. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow Twitch, and I'll see you all then. Don't forget to check us out. <laughs>